Janice in Georgia, welcome Hi, to the show. Yeah. How can we help you tonight? Thanks. I so appreciated, V, your mention of the relationship escalator. Uh, that's a concept I found early in my uh, exploring polyamorous uh, social circles and blogs and stuff. And I, I really like the idea of getting off of it. Mm -hmm. What's difficult is I seem to have uh, kind of a rut that when I start a relationship, instead of holding back and being like really logical and rational, I just dive in head first, which doesn't always go really well. <laughs> so apart from, you know, not doing what society expects us to do with the relationship escalator, how do we keep from going right over our own personal waterfall? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a really good question. I actually have thoughts on this. I think, you know, uh, society kind of portrays this notion that like, your sexuality is is going to be something that's so innate that the way you approach relationships is going to be like relatively consistent across time or something absurd like that. And I think it's important to remember that like with any interpersonal skills, dating and relationships are a skill. It's something you develop. So I think the way we get out of that trap is by having relationships, engaging with people, going on dates, getting to know people and being really mindful about what am I experiencing? How am I interpreting their behaviors and being, uh, you know, willing to learn and grow from that. And um, I think the only way you can do that is by having relationships. Um, you know, I don't think you're gonna suddenly have a epiphany and all of your uh, insecurities or all your relationship issues are suddenly going to dissolve and then a healthy relationship will fall in your lap. Um, I think it's gonna be something you have to strive for and work for uh, just like just like any other skill. That makes a lot yeah. of sense. <laughs> yeah, there are definitely some uh, some strategies that you can embrace here, though. Uh, it seems like the biggest challenge around this is sort of getting around that sort of gold rush mentality. This idea that, oh my gosh, if I like this person and I enjoy spending time with them, then spending more time with them, I must like even more and we should just get more of everything. And, you know, that, that kind of like r manic rush, it, that new relationship energy is part of what makes new relationships so beautiful. And it's a, a really wonderful drug that you get to enjoy. And that's great for you. But a little bit of moderation here is probably a good idea. Uh, that desire to be with somebody that you care about needs to be somewhat balanced with a little bit of your wise mind saying, yeah, but, you know, we've only been together for a couple of weeks and we've been seeing each other each and every day and maybe I'm starting to get too attached. And, you know, if you can allow yourself to just be mindful and present and thinking in, in sort of a wise way about these things, then you start to notice that there's a little bit of tension, that there's a, a sense of like distress and a desire that you're having to hold yourself back to. And that gives you something solid that you can sort of identify and hold on to and work against. Uh, I, I might encourage a little bit of radical acceptance as a, that's a, a DBT skill as well as a sort of meditative process. I can include some links uh, regarding that topic in the show notes for this episode. But there are a lot of different strategies for sort of gently slowing yourself down and allowing yourself to make more careful and intentional decisions even when you're feeling that really excited rush. And, and to be clear, NRE is a hell of a drug. It's wonderful and you do get to enjoy it, but you just want to find some balance with it. Got it. That makes a lot of sense. Yet another way to use my DBT training. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Stop I and love think. It. I love it. Thank you so much for calling in, Janice. We really appreciate your time tonight. Well, thank you. I appreciate this show so much. Aww, thanks for watching.